All right, welcome back YouTube. This is Dave Lucas with Injection Molding Skills and more. Today's video, we actually are gonna go over cushion. What is cushion? How does cushion work? And why do we use it in molding, okay? So first I'm gonna go over a couple of different things on this, this sheet that I wrote down of like what the things are. So what is a melt cushion in injection molding? The melt cushion is the material in front of the screw when the screw is in the forward position. Always injected mold with a melted cushion. Um, so you always wanna have a little bit of material in, in the front of it. That's what they're talking about. A pressure loss can result in cushion is too high and the part will not be molded consistently. Okay, so if you don't have a cushion. Okay, um, right here it says what are cushion values values in injection molding okay uh, cushion values in injection molding ultimately are an indicator of parts quality especially the the diet the dimensions of that part okay a consistent cushion will create consistency consistent part dimensions the value of a cushion can also be critical in making sure the, re the resin isn't degraded prior to injecting on the next shot, okay? Because it leaves that little bit of material in front of the screw. Okay, I'll go, I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. How does a plastic molding cushion work, okay? During uh, compression phase of the molding cycle, pressure must be con constantly applied on the melt inside the cavity of the mold. This pressure will, <clears throat> um, will help to deliver plastic, okay, um, and pack the cavity out. The cushion that helps apply the pressure, okay. What is a cushion in molding? Okay, so there's two different things is what they, they say, okay. So there are two dif definitions for cushion in mold. The position of the screw when the hold or second stage timer ends, the most forward position the screw reaches during injection or what they call first stage. Uh, sometimes this is labeled cushion minimum, okay? So what happens is, is you'll get like this little bit of material. So let me show you this. So you have, this here is the, the screw with the check ring right here. This is the material in front of the screw. This is the end cap, your nozzle, running through right here where your screw bushing is, okay? The material in between here is what they're calling your cushion, okay? That, that is very critical. So if you're looking at this, here's another picture that shows you. So you're injecting all the way down, so you're going through injection, pack, hold. This little bit of extra material that's in the very front right here is called the cushion, okay? So what you wanna do is, rule of thumb is you always wanna have it to be a quarter of an inch to half an inch um, is what you wanna have in front of the screw. Uh, I've seen some people have one inch, but I try never to go one inch. I always try to keep it at least, you know, 0.25 all the way up to maybe 0.75, okay? That might be three quarters of an inch. Um, it just depends on your machines and how you set your machines up. But if you don't have a cushion on the on here like this, let's say this goes all the way and bottoms out, your part dimensions are gonna be different. Your part size is gonna be different. The weight of the part's gonna be different. You might have sinks and voids and all that because you're not consistent all the time. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have a cushion that's repeatable all the time. So when you're looking at your cycle, going down through there, make sure that you're repeatable all the time. Because if you're not repeatable, then your parts are gonna vary all over the place. So what I usually do is try to get it to where it's running really good. Make sure your parts filled out, you know, 95 to 98% full. Put your pack on there, pack it out. Then let it run for about, you know, 15 to 30 shots. Then take your pack and hold off again and make sure you still get the same short shot that you had before. Okay, once you've done that, 
Then go ahead and put that back on because you know that's all correct. Then watch it for about 30 to 40 cycles. Make sure your cushion monitoring is staying real good. You don't want it to be bouncing all over the place because if it's bouncing all over the place, then you might have an issue with the check ring. You might have an issue with something else on there, the material, you know, um, leaking out around the nozzle, any, just all kinds of different things. It could be, you could have wear on your screw. There, there's a bunch of things that could actually happen. But I'm just trying to give you the basics of what a cushion is. So me personally, run, run you about 30 to 40 shots, make sure they're consistent, and then plot that down to make sure you don't have a big variance. Now, if you have a big variance up and down, then there's something wrong somewhere. Okay, I hope you guys like, uh, I hope you like this video. I hope it was informative. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope everyone has a blessed holiday. Peace. Sorry guys, I forgot to show you my palm tree. So this here is actually my new Christmas tree for living here at the beach. So I have these little lights on, or a little bulbs on here and on these bulbs I got like a little crab right there I got a little flamingo like a pink flamingo you can see the little crab on there pink flamingo and then I think there's a couple on here that have a little like this one here has got the little um squid on it so thought you guys might like that me living down here in Jacksonville Florida this here is actually my palm tree. That is my Christmas tree for the year, and that's how I'm going to keep it. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Peace.